Howdy. To wrap up our coverage of profit planning with CVP analysis, we're going to take a look at cost structure and operating leverage. Now remember, cost structure is the relative proportion of fixed costs versus variable costs. This will have a significant effect on profitability, as we will see. Operating leverage is the degree to which a company's income reacts to changes in sales. And so it's going to be looking at earnings volatility. How much does income react to a change in sales? If it reacts quickly, it would be called volatile earnings. Now, operating le leverage is determined by the relative use of fixed and variable costs. The calculation is total contribution margin divided by net income. I know, another formula. But what you should recognize is this is simply our new income statement format, and you take the subtotal, the contribution margin, divided by the bottom line, which is net operating income. And we can use this degree of operating leverage to determine the effect changes in sales will have on income. The percentage change in income can be determined by taking the degree of operating leverage and multiplying by the percentage change in sales. Note that companies with high fixed costs relative to variable costs will have high operating leverage, which means again, their earnings will be volatile. They will react quickly to changes in sales. Now when sales revenue is increasing, high operating leverage is good because that means profits will increase rapidly. However, if sales are declining, too much operating leverage will not be good because it will cause profits to decrease rapidly. So the choice of cost structure must really be careful carefully considered by companies and their management uh, because it really determines how quickly profits will rise and fall as their sales rise and fall. And managers can make decisions that will affect this. Something as simple as putting someone on salary versus wages can move a cost to fixed if it's salary or variable if they become a wage earner. Let's take a look at an example. Two companies have the following contribution margin format income statements. And you can see we have CSTAT beverages and CSTAT natural foods. If you will look carefully, you see that the beverage company has 10,000 of variable costs and 30,000 of fixed costs, which means at this level of sales, they have a significantly higher fixed costs than variable costs. On the other hand, the natural foods company has a significant amount of variable cost as compared to fixed cost because 75% of their costs at this level of sales are variable. So I made the company's cost structure very different on purpose so that you could see how the degree of operating leverage does affect profitability. All right, so we're going to calculate the degree of operating leverage for each company. And here, we'll simply take the contribution margin divided by the income. So for the beverage company, that will be $40,000 divided by $10,000, or four. For the natural foods company, that will be $2,000 divided by $1,000, or two. So since the beverage company has twice the degree of operating leverage, their profits are twice as volatile. Once again, looking at that cost structure, you can see the company that has the relatively higher fixed costs has higher degree of operating leverage. That is the beverage company. Now, question B. Use the degree of operating leverage to determine the effect on each company's income if revenues increase by 20%. So rather than re-preparing the income statement, we can simply take the degree of operating leverage of 4 
times the percentage increase in sales of 20% and recognize that the beverage company's income will increase by 80%. So then we can do the same thing for the food company. Their degree of operating leverage was 2 with a 20% increase in income. Profits will increase 40%. So again, it's important to recognize what this is telling you. For the beverage company, income will increase by 80% if sales increase by 20%. And for the food company, income will only increase by 40% if sales increase by 20%. Alright, in Part C, I say prepare income statements to prove your findings in Part B. Understand this would not be necessary. I'm simply proving that our calculations in Part B held true. Alright, so let's prepare our contribution margin income statements for the two companies. We'll have beverages and foods, sales minus variable costs equal contribution margin minus fixed costs equal net operating income. Now sales are going to increase 20 percent. Variable costs are going to increase 20 percent and contribution margin is going to increase 20 percent. Fixed costs, however, are not going to change. Now I'll remind you of what you were given. For the beverage company, revenues had been 50000 so if they increase by 20%, they will go to $60,000. Likewise, variable costs are going to increase 20%. They had been 10000 so 120% of that is 12000 And contribution margin will go from $40,000 to $48,000. Fixed costs will remain at $30,000 and income will be $18,000. For the food company, revenues will go from $5,000 to $6,000. Variable costs will go from $3,000 to $3,600 and contribution margin will increase from $2,000 to $2,400. Fixed costs will remain at $1,000 and income will be $1,400. Now what we want to know is, is this an 80% increase in profit for the beverage company and a 40% increase in profit for the food company? Let's find out. beverage company income went from $10,000 to $18,000. That is an 80% increase. For the food company profit went from $1,000 to $1,400. So you see we're going to take the increase in sales and find the percentage increase in profit. Let's turn our focus back to the food company. Profit increased $400 because it went from $1,000 to $1,400. That is in fact a 40% increase. So with, if you know the increase in sales, you will be able to determine the increase in profit uh, as a percentage. So in summary, the degree of operating leverage is based on the cost structure and it can be used to determine the effect of a change in sales on the change in income. So as an example, for the quarter ending June 30th of 2019, Netflix showed that revenues increased 26% while operating income for the quarter showed a 52.83% increase. So you might have thought, how is this possible? But now you know it's because of the degree of operating leverage. 
they have a degree of operating leverage of about two. Get some practice. I'll see you in class.